very brief, Honorable Speaker, and I just try to support this report. Honorable Speaker, we have had this report in this house, I think, from the last parliament in the 12th parliament, and as the chair did indicate, in fact, the last committee in the 12th parliament had done most of the work. And Honorable Speaker, you know you are a member of that committee in the 12th parliament, you are still a member in this parliament. Therefore, we commend the committee for the work they did. However, Honorable Speaker, I've had engagements uh, around the issues that have been touched on, the issue of the unfortunate uh, murder of the late Agnes Wanjiru uh, in Nanyuki. Honorable Speaker, we have a responsibility as leaders who represent people in our constituencies, and not just leaders in Laikipia County, but all of us collectively, to ensure that whoever is training be it the military, be it the police, whether you are working in this country as an expatriate, that you respect the sanctity of life of Kenyans. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I want to ask, and we have had an engagement with the chair of this committee, that our investigative agencies must not let this matter die with the adoption of this report, if adopted. That our investigative agencies and those in the UK must work together to ensure that they get to the bottom of what happened to the life of the late Agnes Wanjiru. Because, Honorable Speaker, we must be a country where, like all other countries, when one of us loses a life, it must be a matter that is of concern to all of us as a country. And we cannot sweep the death of Agnes Wanjiru under the carpet. And indeed, Honorable Speaker, because I had an engagement with the Minister, of the armed forces or the defense forces in the UK sometime back in my office when he paid a courtesy call and he indicated their willingness and determination to get, to get to the bottom of this issue. I want to encourage our DCI and all our investigative agencies to work together with the investigative agencies in the UK to make sure that those who may have murdered Agnes Wanjiru whether they are Kenyan nationals or they are nationalities in the United Kingdom, that they are brought to book and charged before court, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the other issues that have been of concern to the people of Laikipia and the other areas that this um, troops train in, Honorable Speaker, is uh, issues that relate to respect of cultures, Honorable Speaker, and I want to encourage that these troops be uh, cognizant of the cultures of the people in the areas that they are training, whether it is pastoralists, whether it is farmers, and even on issues, Honorable Speaker, issues like LGBTQ issues, Honorable Speaker, that have been uh, uh, issues in the countries where they come from and are not issues for us here, Honorable Speaker, uh, they must also uphold the cultural values of the people and the areas where they are working in, even as a patronize clubs and other uh, entertainment joints in Anyuki town and surrounding towns on Abo Speaker, they must bear in mind that they are working in a community that has certain cultural values and social values that we hold dear and respect them. On Abo Speaker, the issue of environment, the environment, and the case in point is the Lordaiga Hills and the unfortunate fire incident and the issues that were raised by the county government of Laikipia. Honorable Speaker, as much as we appreciate this must, might have been an accident and a rather unfortunate incident, we must also ask these troops and even our own troops, wherever they, they train, to take care of the environment to make sure that the, such unfortunate incidents do not happen. And even issues, Honorable Speaker, that we have seen uh, of landmines and uh, explosives being left uh, uncollected and unattended to, and blowing up young boys and uh, uh, harders as they had their lives to Honorable Speaker, that uh, the troops, wherever they train, they also remain very sensitive to the, the communities around them. And with those many remarks, Honorable Speaker, allow me to support this report and urge the House that we do approve this report and close the matter, as I said, that started uh, in the 12th Parliament. Honorable Speaker, I beg to support. Thank you, Member for Busia, Honorable Catherine Omani. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I really uh, love the motion and I support fully. 
uh, it will help either way the two nations to 